Tonight, WGAL and the Fulton Theater in Lancaster are teaming up for a unique telethon as part of our Community Connection Initiative. You can help support the theater, which has been closed since the start of the pandemic. WGAL News 8's Lori Burkholder and Brian Roach show us what to expect. The lights are back on in the Fulton Theater in downtown Lancaster tonight. Unfortunately, those lights had to be turned off back in March as the coronavirus pandemic settled over the Susquehanna Valley. But tonight, the lights here in the auditorium and the lights on the stage are back on because this is a very special night. Tonight, it's the WGAL Telethon to support our home, our home being the Fulton Theater. And tonight, we're going to try to make a very promising future for the Fulton Theater, a theater that is very important to downtown Lancaster that brings in roughly $15 million to the economy in this area. Hi everyone, I'm Brian Roach along with my co-host Lori Burkholder. Let's swing the camera uh, up And her. I love this theater, Brian. This theater dates back 167 years. It's a historic landmark and we want to keep it alive and keep really the arts alive. The stage is set and we're ready to do a telethon, but we need your help. So support our home. It's part of our Community Connection Initiative. We're helping organizations like this because they help so much uh, the business in our community. So join us at 7 o'clock right here on WGAL. We're all keeping our social distance. The guys be here back here getting ready for the big broadcast tonight. You can only see it here on WGIL. We'll see you at 7 o'clock live here at the Fulton Theater. I'm Lori along with Brian we'll here in Lancaster. Then. WGIL <laughs> News 8. The Support Our Home Telethon will have live and recorded performances with special guest appearances and you can see it as Lori said tonight at 7 o'clock only on WGIL.